A few days after returning from a party, Zara started complaining about a severe stomach ache. The problem appeared to be minor initially, but with time it worsened. She was diagnosed very late to have been affected by a helminth infection. What are these helminth infections? These are infections caused by the next category of animals in our list, worms. The worms responsible for such infections can be both flatworms and nematodes. We have already seen what flatworm, that is platyhelminthes, are. In this video, let's have a look at the second category, Askhelminthes, also known as roundworms. The name is derived from two Greek terms, askos, meaning cavity, and helminth, as we know, means a worm. That means worms having a cavity containing cylindrical body. Also, the name nematode indicates thin and cylindrical-like body where nema stands for thread. These organisms are a step higher than the platyhelminthes on the scale of evolution. They have an organ system grade of organization. That means a few organs make up the body and not just tissues. The body is usually cylindrical and has a tapering end. The mouth consists of prominent structures like suckers and hooks to attach to the host body and derive nutrition from it. The body is bilaterally symmetrical and can be divided into equal halves when cut through the central axis. Just like the platyhelminthes, these are triploblastic. That means there are three embryonic layers, namely the endoderm, mesoderm and the ectoderm that make up the body. However, these contain a pseudocelum. That means a pseudocavity or simply a cavity present between the gut and the body wall. Now we have said there are organs which make up the systems. So, which are the systems that we find in these organisms? To begin with, we have a simple digestive system. The system helps in breakdown of simple food molecules. The excretory system is also quite simple. It consists of canals and cells called the protonephridia. These organisms, however, lack a proper circulatory and respiratory system. These processes occur via simple diffusion. No properly developed organs are present for these systems. And the nervous system is poorly developed. Now comes another important system, the reproductive system. Askhelminthes are unisexual organisms. That means the males and the females are separate individuals. Females are usually larger in size compared to the males and this helps us identify the organism. Reproduction does occur sexually and the fertilization is also internal. Now can you tell me where are these organisms found? These are very rarely found in marine or freshwater habitats. Most of them are usually endoparasites. That means living inside the body of a host organism. Ascaris, Vukaria and many others make up the complete category. Are earthworms also an example of nematodes? Think for a moment. If you said yes, it's probably not the right answer. It's not your fault as earthworms do look like these roundworms, but in reality, they're not a part of this family. They belong to the next phylum, which is the Annelida. In the next video, we will see some interesting facts about the annelids.